Hello and welcome to GoGeeko.com. This video covers filter and sorter transformations in Power Center version 9. By now, you should be familiar with Power Center tools like Designer, Workflow Manager, and Workflow Monitor. If not, then I would highly recommend to go through prior videos which covers overview of Power Center and creating the first mapping in Power Center using expression transformation. Filter and sorter transformations are mainly used for these reasons. Filter transformation is mainly used to remove the unwanted data. If you are familiar with where clause in SQL, then filter does the same. You can filter out any columns with certain values which you don't want. For example, you can remove all records where customer ID is null or blank from your source data. On the other hand, sorter transformation sorts the incoming source data based on a source key or the field. For example, let's say our incoming source data is like this and once you apply the sorter transformation on this particular column and if you want to sort this data based on ascending order your data will be transformed in this order so let's open up the power center tool i have opened this customer folder where we would be developing this new mapping so Let's say your requirement is to load data from this file and this file has this customer data where some of the customer IDs are null, even first names are null and they are not sorted. So let's say your requirement document says that create a target file or you need to send an export of a file which does not contain customer ID as null or first name as null and it should be sorted based on first name. So our requirement again is we need to export a file to someone within the company or outside the company that happens often and that file should contain the customer data where customer ID and first name are not null and also the file data should be sorted based on the first name so let's say this is our requirement so let's go ahead and create a mapping for this requirement so let's go to the source and get our source first so import from a file, file type all files. This is our file, import field from first line. Next, this is a comma separated file. I would use default text length as 256, hit next. All these things seems to be fine to me. So I will just simply finish that, control S. Because my target table definition or my target file definition is same as my source I will simply copy this source file into my target designer as well I can simply rename it just to avoid any confusion here that this is going to be my target file hit apply ok and save again save is control s or you can simply save it from repository and hit save now you come back to mapping designer mapping create a mapping give descriptive meaningful name customer data export what I would also want to show you is how you can give the comments for a mapping so I have seen people writing comments like this you would be giving a created by the date you can actually say that as created date or last modified date and you can write a description that this mapping sends an export with not null customer ID and first name and also sorts based on first name now let's get in our source in the mapping and also our target I can make the size as 80% I'm just comfortable with 80% so minimize that as we don't need that so now let's bring in our transformations I would highly recommend to always attach an expression transformation 
after the source qualifier and the reason for adding expression transformation is that expression transformation allows you to accommodate any changes in your mapping later because if you see an expression transformation has many different functions and most of your requirements would be around these functions so you can convert the data you can use the character functions and many more also it gives you the ability to add new columns which you might want to load into the target based on your requirement so always add an expression right after the source qualifier actually some of the experts also recommend to put an expression transformation right before your target because sometimes your mapping becomes that long and you don't want your data to be changed right at the start when you can actually do it at the end so let's not go there for now but just keep in mind always put an expression right after your source and then you put your transformations in so let's apply our logic for filter first always whenever you have any requirement which filters the data always filter the data at the start because now for the downstream transformation which is after filter you would be processing less data and that will improve your performance so let's get the filter transformation in this is the filter transformation or simply you can go to transformation and hit create as soon as you press F filter will come and you can simply give the name as FIL again I have given a name which suggests that I'm going to filter out null customer ID and first name this is a really good practice to name your transformation in a meaningful way get all the columns in you can minimize those transformations which we don't need now let's open up the filter and here is the filter magic what is your filter condition in this case my filter condition is so get your column in and start typing your condition not is null and not is null of what first name validate it okay so this is your condition so your filter says I will only pass that data which is not null for the customer ID column and also where first name is not null apply okay now after your filter transformation we also want to sort the data based on first name so let's get the sorter transformation in so this is our sorter transformation click here and then just draw it again give it a nice name to this transformation but for now I will just simply get my columns in the sorter transformation and open the sorter transformation I'll open the transformation and go to ports and I will say first name as my key column so if you look at that this is nothing but the key what is the key by which you want to sort your data on you can sort the data based on more than one columns in this case I'm just showing based on first name and I want my data to be in ascending order I can always change to be descending as well let's say if mainly for dollar amounts money related fields people want to see the data in descending order or even for date formats so that they have the latest data or the data which has more value or more worth they want to see that data on top in the reports so let's hit apply hit ok and 
just connect all the columns right into the target i will just simply iconize that so that it looks pretty so this completes this mapping order to run this mapping you should know that i still need a session and a workflow i don't have to create a new workflow i can just create a session and i can plug that session in into my existing workflow or if i need i can create a new workflow as well for now let's simply create a new workflow we will see in future how we can arrange different sessions in one workflow and how we can run those sessions in sequential order or in parallel and we can set up different dependencies as well so let's generate a workflow which is very simple step right click generate workflow workflow with a non reusable session next finish so my workflow should be created hit the workflow manager i will also open my workflow monitor right now i double clicked on the integration service and it opened up two folders so let's see if we have our workflow here and yes indeed open that double click the workflow go to mapping go to the source just hit that so that you can see more fields here and you need to define where your source file directory is in this case my source file directory is right here and also we need to give where are we going to create our target file so my output directory is also the same and I will name my target file as tgt customers.csv hit apply okay Control s for save so let's right click and start our workflow let's go to the workflow monitor and we can see that our mapping got succeeded let's see what happened here so if you can see sq which stands for source qualifier or our source read 2408 rows but it has only loaded 2339 rows so let's see our target data go to the target directory folder which is this and if you can see this new file got created let's open up the file so after opening the file we can see that there are no null values for customer id column my target file does not show my header column here and I can show that property how to get the header in the target file so let's go back to the, our session open the session mapping target and what you need to do is if you want the header in the target section there is one property called as header options and you can say output field names so whatever the field names are in your mapping for the target these field names will be shown as your header so let's go back to the workflow save and run that again start workflow go back to the workflow monitor it got succeeded again let's go back to our target file so after opening up the file we can see that the header column is there and there are no null values in the customer ID column and also there are no null values in the first name column and the first name is also sorted based on the ascending order so this completes this tutorial and in our next tutorial we would be covering more power center transformations Thanks for watching this tutorial and do check out our website www.gogeco.com. Bye now.